Hey guys, welcome to Will's World. I have a question for you. Does your phone die on you when you need it the most? Does this give you range anxiety? Are you always worried about this thing? Do you have one of these big external battery packs to keep you charged up on the go? Would you rather just forget about it and charge for 20 minutes or 30 minutes before you go out again? Well, with Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 technology, you can do just that. Now today, I'm going to be looking at one of the chargers that uses this technology. This is the Aoki Quick Charge 2.0 Turbocharger. Now I pair it with the iOrange reversible braided USB cable. Here's my review of these two items. Now the main interest is the charger itself, which features Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 technology, which allows phones or other devices with this technology to charge incredibly fast when paired with a Quick Charge 2.0 USB adapter. It essentially allows the battery to be charged to its maximum charge rate without damaging the battery. By pushing the maximum current into the battery, it does warm the battery up. But according to Qualcomm, this is not to be of concern because the technology is designed to stay within the guidelines of the battery's limits. So it should not cause major long-term damage by charging it so fast. This Aoki Quick Charger allows for up to 18 watts of juice to flow into qualifying devices. If you want to see if your device has Quick Charge 2.0 technology, I will have a link to the list of devices that use it in the description below. Sorry iPhone and iPad users, no Apple products on this list. Now if your device is not on this list, you can still use this Aoki charger, which will still charge to the device's maximum rate, but won't be as fast as a Quick Charge device. The orange USB plug that you see is how you know it is a Quick Charge plug. In my testing, I was able to charge my HTC One M8 phone from 17 to 80 percent in just one hour and then to 100 percent in just one more hour. Previously charging my phone would have taken at least two to three times this long. If you're wondering why the charge slows down so much after 80 percent, don't worry. It is perfectly normal and how batteries of all different types are supposed to be charged properly. The first stage has a constant current where voltage slowly increases to its peak voltage. And then the second stage, called the saturation charge, is held at peak voltage while current slowly decreases down to zero amps. Anyways, the speed of this charge is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It came with a three foot long USB cable that for me was really too short to be useful. And after only a couple of days, the micro USB end started to bend. So I decided to get another cable for it. And that's when I got the iOrange e-reversible USB cable for it. Pairing this 2 meter or 6.6 .6 foot long cable with the Aoki charger works great. The nylon fiber braided cable feels very durable and has a nice thickness to it. Both connector housings are made of aluminum and feel great. The full size USB end is reversible, meaning gone are the days of trying to plug the cable in only to find out it's upside down. First world problem, I know, but it is a nice feature to have. The micro USB side, however, is not reversible. Also, after about a month or two of usage, it started to bend, and I didn't think I was being that rough with it. But the cable still works, so I bent it back and I'm continuing to use it. This cable also comes in three different colors, gold, silver, and gray. And despite the slight bend, I've really enjoyed the length and feel of this cable. All right, I hope you found this review of the Aoki Quick Charger and the iOrange USB cable helpful. If you did, and you're interested in purchasing any of these two items, there'll be a link in the description below. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you know when more videos come out. Thanks for watching.